So I'm Rob with Daniels Plumbing Service, and we're taking you through a, a walkthrough of some typical units uh, for the project of replacement of cast iron. So we're starting here with a three-bedroom, three-bath unit uh, that will be typical, and we'll kind of bring you in if you want to come on inside. Here's the front door. Behind the front door is a closet where you have a washer and dryer. And then behind this wall, next to the washer and dryer, is where the stack is located for the kitchen. So we're we'll removing the washer and dryers uh, that are in this location, um, if they're here. Uh, some of them might just have a closet. Uh, and opening up the side wall in the closet to gain access to the stack um, that feeds the kitchen. Uh, and that will be the only opening in this location. If I can just bring you over here to this particular kitchen, this is not typical. Uh, yeah, but it is, there are several units that are like this. Typical is the kitchen sink is on the other side. Um, and again, it would be the same stack location, same opening for either one of these units. This is the guest bathroom. Um, we'll be opening the ceiling in this. Let's show them the ceiling where we're going to be opening it here. Um, turn the light back on. So we'll be opening the ceiling in this bathroom to gain access for the pipes for the water closet and the tub or shower which are located in the ceiling, but they actually service the unit above. And then we're actually going to be opening the wall in the dining room to gain access to the pipes for the stack. And so we do not have to open the wall in the bathroom, just the ceiling in the bathroom in this case. Now we're in the master bathroom for this unit. And again, in this unit, if we want to swing around this way, We'll be opening the ceiling in this area to take care of the pipes that are in the ceiling for the commode and the tub or shower uh, and replacing those. And we're going to walk around to the other side because we're not going to open this wall. We're going to open the wall on the other side, which is the bedroom, to be able to gain access to the stack to be able to replace that. So if we want to come around the other side, we'll take a quick look at that. This is the area in the bedroom that we'll be opening up from floor to ceiling to gain access to the stacks to be able to remove them. And this way we don't have to um, disturb the bathroom wall, it'll just be a bedroom wall. So this is the third bathroom in this unit. This bathroom, if you want to come in here, the stacks that are in the wall are actually in block. So these stacks are going to be lined, they're not going to be completely replaced. But even though they're being lined, we have to get the fittings out. So we'll be opening the ceiling in this unit, number one, to access the horizontal lines for the toilet and for the tub or shower to replace those in the ceilings. But we're also going to be going into the block wall above the ceiling to be able to remove that fitting. So there may be a small area in the wall that we'll be opening up, and there'll be an area right about behind the, the toilet tank that we'll be opening up to get that fitting out that feeds over to, to catch the sink. But it won't be a complete opening, it'll be just smaller patches.